if we get the patient here just to do a single leg squat, okay, what we're looking for is where the knee goes. Now generally, we want the knee to come out here in this kind of direction towards her third toe. But what classically happens is the knee goes in there, okay, and tracks more inside of the big toe and then stand up and relax. And then what that does is it collapses down and over pronates the foot, which then puts a lot of stress at the medial part of the lower leg here, along the tibia and into the medial tibial muscles. If the patient is to do more running or more exercise than they've been accustomed for, um, to do before, then this can be one of the main reasons for bringing on this kind of injury. Um, another is change of weight. If, if for whatever reason um, you've put on weight, sometimes again the more load that goes through the, the tibia here can, have a, um, can be one of the, the causes of, of, of bringing on this, this syndrome. But essentially we're looking at what happens between the knee and the ankle. And if you can imagine every single time that this patient walks, if the knee is going in every time, it's putting excessive stress down through this part of the lower leg and into this part of the ankle. And over a period of time, the muscles then react, they then give you pain, or, which is even more serious, you start to develop a stress response where the bone is reacting to the increased level of stress that's going through here. Um, and eventually that could cause kind of increase in terms of swelling within the bone and potentially little stress fractures, which essentially what it is what the kind of generally the pain of shin splints is. When the patient runs around, the muscles swell as well. And generally because of that kind of swelling as well, it will pull on this area, okay? Um, and that can sometimes bring on that pain. Um, but as I say, it, it's, it's mainly caused by biomechanical irregularities when they are walking or running.